Hello everyone, and in this video, I'm going to speak a little bit more about uh, how you know the descriptive data analytics works and how the diagnostic main you can think of. So this is the data set which I'm carrying right now with me. It has some data of some subscriptions of a new channel uh, of a, of a sports channel, right? And I've got some ID of the customer. I have got age. I have gender. I have income. I have their locations where they're located. Rural, suburban, or urban area. I have expenses. Uh, probably their yearly expenses. I have their yearly income. I have the subscription type. What kind of subscription they have taken? Basic, basic platinum or gold. And they have uh, in which month this subscription is sold to them, and for how many years? How many TVs they they have in their household, and how many members are there in the family? So. All this data is available with me, and uh, I will be using some basic analytics to answer these questions, which are right there in the text box. Uh, that means first I will try to see the distribution of gender. That uh, so this might be the data collected every year by the form. So I want to understand what is the distribution of gender, and uh, how to create a pie chart. Uh, so how not not how to create a pie chart. Basically, how I'm going to answer this first particular question that what is the distribution of gender. So an analyst should have the kind of mechanism he's going to use to answer this question. So I'm going to answer this question using a pie chart of frequency and percentage table. You can pick any other tool. If you think any other chart is going to be more helpful, you can do that. And I'm going to use distribution uh, of subscription type. So I can have, uh, you know, find or I can describe this thing by using a column chart of frequency and percentage table. What is the distribution of age? of subscribers with respect to location so again I'm, i can use a cross tabulation or percentage column chart to provide an answer to that and again there is a question is there a relationship between income and number of years of subscription so i have advanced statistical tools like correlation to answer it but right now i'm going to use because i'm using very basic descriptive so i can use a cross tab or a column chart to answer this particular question so uh, let's let's go ahead and let's try to understand how this entire uh, framework works so i'm going to use simple pivot table to answer all these questions so i'm going to put my cursor somewhere in the table i'm going to go to insert and pivot table and simply click ok so it gives me a new window where i can use the pivot table tool so my first question was uh, let me take the text box here okay i i understand that my first question was to understand the distribution of gender so i simply click drag and drop gender to rows and one more time it to values so the row labels i can use it to gender of subscribers and here of course uh, i can rename the count of gender to i would say uh, percentage of subscribers right so uh done a little adjustment but i have written here percentage of subscribers so the data is showing me the count so i can simply right click on it and summarize values as percentage of column total and if i click on it simply shows me what percentage of male and female are there as my subscribers and i can clearly see that males have a higher subscription rate in comparison to female that means out of total data nearly 80 percent of subscribers are males and only 20 percent of the subscribers are male female and i can uh, definitely change the outlay as per my choice so i can simply write it as male and by putting my cursor here or i can simply put it as females so if i want to make a little correction and make the data a little look good so i can do that now in order to insert a chart i simply go to insert and i go to a pivot chart so pivot charts are a handsome tool and i would use them rather doing a conventional chart if i'm using a pivot table because the understanding of the software is better so i just click ok by selecting the pie chart and here is my chart right and i can simply right click on it and add data labels it also shows me percentage that uh, what it is and i can rename the chart so i can simply click on it click or equal to type equal to if you can see in the formula bar is coming up and the gender of subscribe subscribers i just select that cell hit enter takes the title so whatever i change so i can take this particular chart conveniently to my you know a word file or a report file whatever i want to make it 
So that's the answer to the first question. There are two ways I can do that. I can do a table and I can simply do a kind of uh, pie chart to represent the percentage of gender. I can, uh, if I want to see the count, simply I'm going to go to summarize values as, and I'll say no calculation. That's it. It gives me the numbers now, even the chart improves. So this is a matter of choice that what kind of, uh, you know, uh, people you're presenting your report to and then you can get answer to your first question so i can simply uh, uh, keep on editing this pivot table also to answer all other questions but i'll not do that what i'll do is i'll insert one more pivot table to answer second question which tells me the distribution of subscription type and i'm going to do a column chart this time simply insert pivot chart table and click ok so the second work question was about <coughs> Second question was about subscription type, right? That's that's the second question. Let me check once again. Yes, distribution of subscription type. So I'm going to pull my subscription type in rows and in values, and that's it. So the highest sold subscription was basic. So let me rename it subscription type. And this is number of subscribers. Seems good to me. The highest sold is basic gold to 40, platinum 19. This is descriptive, right? And that gives me a little bit of hint about diagnosing uh, something. So if I go to pivot chart, let me put a chart first. Column, most recommended chart here. Okay, I'm going to go to good, 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 good with it. That's the column chart, right? I'm going to right click, add data labels, shows me the numbers. Click on total, hit equal to, see in the formula bar. Just select this cell here, subscription type. Okay, let me get rid of this. Sounds good. Now this gives me a little diagnostic into the data that my platinum subscriptions are sold less. That's where an analyst can get triggered to whether I need to make some adjustment into the platinum category if it is most beneficial for me. That means it drives most profit for me or what should i do to increase the platinum subscription shall i merge it shall i finish it so i just need to work it out that i'm selling very less of platinum in fact if i look into the premium category my subscriptions are low are the offers not lucrative do not may uh, my, my what my competitors are selling in the platinum subscription so all these questions can be answered simply i described it and then i identified a problem something is happening here and that can be addressed further let me see the third question it shows me what is the distribution of age with respect to location so again i'm going to go to insert the table and click ok so again um, let me check my question it was about age with respect to location so let me pull age in rows and let me pull location in columns and one more time in values this looks pretty much weird you know a lot of age categories starting from you know what eight years and going up to 117 years so it doesn't look to me a very good table so i'll modify it what i'll do is in such cases i'll group the age by default it is starting at eight you can see the minimum value right here and maximum is 117 i am surprised somebody lives 117 years and let me group it by 20 you can have your own choices here and that looks pretty fine to me now so you know what what exactly the intelligence is supposed to be like if you see the last category 88 to 107 and 108 to 127 there are only six people in it and nobody in an urban area so i may want to con uh, you know combine these two categories manually and i'll write, write something like 80 and then above and i'll put 3 and 12 and 5 and i'll club it so that these kind of adjustments can be done and uh, seems pretty good to me so the row label i'll put it age and uh, that's that's the subscription so and uh, if i do a pivot chart i insert a pivot chart here and a pivot chart this shows good to me so you can see that in age category 8 to 27 and uh, i can see that blue is rural red is a suburban so suburban remains highest subscription in 
top three age categories while in 68 to 87 it is almost equal to the urban so that doesn't make a difference so i'm not uh, doing uh, exceptionally well in rural market you can see it is the lowest market for me i don't know for what reason in urban which is supposed to be more prominent so i may want to do a further analysis i want to find out with respect to types of subscription types of area so what kind of subscription i'm selling where so uh, this is again one more you can simply right click on any of the bar and add the data label that's not a big catch so that that the chart and this table gives you a pretty much of description of uh, what exactly i am trying to identify in the data set and if you see the name that particular question is answered pretty well by using a cross tabulation i have row and column so you want to give this chart a title you can simply go to design add chart element chart title and let's say above chart and i can simply click equal to and uh, uh if if let's say because this doesn't have a very clean name but let us suppose i give a name here so i'm selecting it here count of locations i'll write it something like i can give this a title age versus and location of subscribers right so that gives me a very uh, good chart and i can definitely get rid of these lines there are a number of benefits available with the pivot charts so let's say i don't want to see for a location called rural i can get rid of it it gives me the data only on two let's say i don't want to see for last two age categories i removed them and i've just cleanly take taken up my chart so you can take this chart paste it as an image so you, from one particular data set you can filter out different data charts as per your convenience and you can take it to your report okay let's see the next question is there any relationship between income and number of years of subscription so let me check it out so what i'm going to do is i will be going to the table once again again on a new sheet and i want to do something with respect to income and years of subscription so i'm going to put years of subscription sold for years in the columns right and one more time i want to put it up and into values so in my row labels i have years of subscription for one year two year three year four year five years six years and then in this particular uh, in my in my row labels i have sorry incomes and in my column labels i have my years uh, for which the subscription has been sold and as per previous input i'm going to club the data group the data rather and uh, with respect to rows and click ok seems good I'll, I'll further group it i'll group it to let's say income group of 30 each okay seems fine to me now now that gives a little bit of insight right so you can see that 29 to 58 lakhs per annum if the income is you have 66 subscription this is your biggest category you know the people earning between 59 to 58 lakhs and they have the high they are your highest number of subscribers while the people who are extremely rich making good money you know however they are very less in numbers but still you have got only five subscribers in that particular category so that is the income group which is to be targeted and uh, you can see that uh, as the income increases your number of subscribers are going down uh, number of years or total number of subscribers so that exactly you need to check now you can see here uh, if, I, if i see it another way around the six year subscription mostly is taken by the this income group once again and in fact all the year subscription have been taken mostly by the people of this income group so you can see that and uh, i think the percentage can make another sense here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a percentage so look at this 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 makes a little more sense now <clears throat> so if i see six plus years that means six year subscription the 45 percent of it comes from the income group of 59 to 88 right and that means all the subscriptions have the highest representations from here so 
you can you can change the data you can do another analysis by taking a percentage of row total when the entire story changes this time it shows that total number of people of the age category 29 to 58 are distributed like this when it comes to yearly subscriptions so that's how the things are so you can see that which age category now has the highest uh, subscription in terms of number of years you can easily see that right so if you see this first year subscription the age category 179 income category of 179 to 20 8 lakhs has the highest percentage of subscription and so on so uh, if you see here the four years so five year subscription the income group 179 to 208 is the highest uh, number of subscribers in this particular category of years of subscription so this is income in lakhs so again you get to modify it income in lakhs probably per annum and these column labels are years of subscription right years of subscription so simply you can filter it out that means if what whatever number of years you want to see i want to see it let's say for only uh you know first and fourth year so i can just select these two and rest of the items will be gone so you can put filters at all the places you can produce some charts out of it once again so um, i'm saying just putting the cursor in going to insert and then there is a pivot chart simply just pick it up one looks pretty much you know difficult to read when it comes to all your subscriptions with respect to income groups so that's a pivot chart i've already explained in uh, the previous chart as well so i would recommend you this is the data set you can uh, i think most of you have the data set so you can practice this particular data set out with different uh, analytics problems so that is about basic description of charts and tables and graphs thank you very much let's meet in the next video where i'm going to talk about the, some uh, functions of Excel and uh, so on. Thank you.